My name is Issa Ndeme. I'm 19 year old Burundian refugee from Tanzania. I have a family of 10 people and we all live together. My parents, my grandfather, and my three sisters and my three brothers. When the geno genocide between the Hutu and Tutsi people took place, my grandfather and my parents moved to the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1972. When my father was 10 year years old and my mom was 2 years old, okay, they knew each other in Congo when my father was 26 and my mom 18. They went through a long friendship of 3 years old and then they decided to get married. 1988. My father was a fisherman and my mom worked in a field all day long. I was born in 1992. I can remember even when I was one year old, my, my mom led me under a beautiful tree that had red, red roses. I asked my mom about it when I was old. Did we have a, did we have a tree with the red roses? Because I remember lying under it. She looked at me and smiled. How did you know that? In 1996, genocide took place in Congo. From, when, from then, there was fighting between my Maya soldiers and Nyamuleng. My family moved to a refugee camp named Mutabila and Mjavos in Kasuru, Kigoma, Tanzania. We lived for 11 years. So I grew up there with suffering, struggling in life. It was very difficult to survive because of lack of education and lack of money. My grandfather and my parents worked hard to raise their family. My grandfather worked six days every week. My parents worked in a field and sold the corn. I will tell you what, my parents and my grandfather are very hard workers. Have you seen it? I went to school when I was six years old. I was not a good kid to my parents, but they loved me and cared about me. I felt a lot, even slept outside once. On this day, I knew I did a very hurtful thing to my parents. I was afraid that I would get beat up. My dad had cut my, my notebook in half because every day I went to school with my notebook and I came back home with the empty hand. I was that way until I was nine years old, then I started taking care of my materials. In Africa, in Africa life was not easy. I had to walk to school. I hated summer time because it would get so hot outside working with our shoes on and my feet would get burned with the high rocks and my way to school. I had three pairs of clothes, one for school, one for church, one for home. We had to eat the same things for lunch and dinner, no breakfast. We would get to eat the food we desired to eat once or twice a year, especially on special holidays like Christmas and New Year. On Christmas, we would go to church and there would be light. One night before Christmas, we would watch a play of the night before Christmas in Sunday school. We would worship that night till 6 a.m., go home and come back at 9 a.m. to worship again. We don't celebrate Santa for our Christmas. In 2007, when I was 15 years old, we migrated to the U.S. So September 28th, 2007, I got a chance to come to the U.S. Before coming to the U.S., my family was chosen to the third refuge by I am International Organization for Immigration. Because we didn't have place we will live in the future, however, not every refugee was chosen to find a third refuge. Only those who became refugees in 1972. More, most of the refugees from 1972 were chosen, but some of them failed the test. The, I, the IOM provide tests of on how you moved from place to place and, and the workers that moved to see if your story matches the history. The plane ride, the plane ride my first time to fly was very scared and excited. We took a small plane 
first from Kibondo, Tanzania to Nairobi, Kenya. It was scared to my family because the, we were going to, to sink my little we thought we were going to sink my little sister threw up because when the plane starts to fly it goes up and down. Because of the long trip I didn't get much time to look to look at the cities, but the second plane we took from Kenya I was a little more used to it. I had no words as to say in Swahili Hakuna Matata. I took it, it took us how hours together from Africa to the US when we first arrived in New York it was very new work to me. It was my first time to see beautiful lights, street buildings and lots of moving vehicles. Some ref refugees who got here before us thought it was second heaven because of beautiful it was, but no one in my family ever thought about it. When I got to Amsterdam, they gave me a hamburger, I took out the meat, first I ate, I ate it separately, then I flew from New York to Nashville. My first year of school was pretty last. I had to start learning with the ABCs. I didn't know any English, but I had a very helpful teacher named Miss Jolly. The school I went to was called INA, International Newcomer Academy. It was pretty amazing school to start for English as a second language learners. When I was going to INA, I lived in an apartment called Maldina. I lived there for three years and then we moved to Habitat Home. We were very pleased with our new home because we got to stay in one home that had enough space for us. We were also pleased because we used to rent two apartments and that was too expensive for us. Now my family is seeking green cards so that can become that can become us USA citizen that we could bring over the rest from my family who is in Africa. It was also allowed to travel out of the USA.